the project is enhancing environmental education and awareness in matters relating to marine ecosystem, uh, their sustainable use and practices. And uh, by doing this, I think it's building a, a sense of stewardship and uh, responsibilities of local communities towards the environment. The profile of the Go Blue project is really increasing nowadays, especially after the UN Habitat Assembly. And it's amazing to see uh, how much this kind of project that brings together a number of partners, international donors, member states, local communities, international agencies as UNAP and UN Habitat, is really making the case for the need of joint action to address uh, global problems that have expression at local level. Let's put into context uh, this project, you know, of Go Blue, because as you may see it already, we are seeing a rapid trend of urbanization in Africa, and specifically in Kenya, where we have a rate of urbanization around 3% every year. And uh, coastal cities are affected by this growing urban population as well. Uh, of course, which can be challenges. Uh, when population grows, you have uh, key challenges coming, you know, in terms of access to basic services, uh, uh, in terms of climate change now, and specifically when it comes to coastal cities, the vulnerability of the ecosystem. Go Blue project is an EU-funded project, and uh, under this project, the UN uh, through UNEP and uh, UN Habitat is supporting coastal counties in Kenya uh, through the economic block, which is Yumuya County Sapuani JKP in short, uh, to promote integrated land sea planning so that uh, the coastal counties can get optimum benefits. Hii madara ya maji chafu inapokuwa katika community upande wa wa bahari maji inapo flow inapo endea ndani ya, ya ya bahari inafanya samaki sisipatikane samaki zinakufa kwa wingi wavuvi wawezi pata samaki kwa wingi kwa hivyo inadhuru bahari wavuvi wawezi pata samaki kwa wingi na upande wa mazingira inaleta hewa chafu katika community what the project will do is it is going to address largely on the issue of the quality of water which eventually gets into the sea so we are sure that uh, what we've been seeing the degradation that is going on uh, along the Mikindani creek is going to reduce significantly and this will translate into several things. One, obviously the communities living around uh, would see an abrupt increase in fish harvest and this will translate into livelihoods. So we believe that uh, whatever we are doing upstream will definitely have a longer benefit downstream. The Go Blue project has several impacts on the communities as well as the environment. Uh, to mention a few, uh, the Go Blue project is uh, creating jobs and uh, improving the income of the local communities where this project is uh, being implemented. Hence, by doing that, the project is improving livelihood as well as reducing poverty within the local communities where this project is, uh, is being implemented. Uh, we are seeing also Go Blue is promoting cons uh, protection of critical habitats such as mangroves, coral reefs and seagrass ecosystem. Huu mradi tutakapo upata utatusaidia kwa sababu upande wa bahari hii maji ikienda ndani ya bahari itakuwa safi na itafanya samaki zikue kwa wingi na wa, wavuvi watapata samaki. Na wakulima nao watalimia maji safi. Uh, wat, watapata wateja wakitoka mbali mbali wakija kununua chakula cha wakulima kwa sababu wanatumia maji safi na magonjwa kama kipindupindu typhoid malaria katika jamii itakuwa imeondolewa sasa kama nimepata ujumbe kama huo nitakuja nikae na viongozi wenzangu niwaambie tuhimize jamii wasije wakiwa wamesanya taka zao ndani ya nyumba zao waende wakitupa 
will undergo blue the number of projects we are embracing as a county. So we have the open space project that uh, we have actually uh, embraced and we look forward to benefit out of that. Uh, we've put up designs and uh, we are actually in the right track to make sure that we have a space uh, where people can relax and share experiences. Uh, for blue, for Carbon Blue initiative, uh, people of Lamu actually welcome the project. Uh, we've stayed with the mangrove for so many years and with very little benefit. Uh, we hope that uh, with this project, uh, people from uh, people uh, in this area will be able to get their livelihood and actually understand the importance of actually conserving. We hope uh, that uh, people will benefit uh, in terms of carbon credit and trade. And uh, once they, they benefit out of that, uh, people can get their livelihood. I'm sure many people will be, in, will be actually the soldiers uh, trying to protect deterioration of mangrove, mangrove ecosystems. The challenges which the country is facing on solid waste management is uh, number one, insufficient budgetary allocation to the solid waste management sector. And at the same time also, uncontrolled dumping of waste in the dump site. Alongside this uh, recovery facilities done, we also require to construct material recovery facility in other parts of the county, like Maungu, in Voi sub-county, Riata area in Taveta sub-county, and Vundani to counter the growing populations in the county. Magari kaja inamaga na maga, na maga, na maga, na maga, na maga. Ukaaza mwusi shasa. We! Fududududu. Pako kuju. Land. Mwush. Hai, maizi. Pali uko, madukani. Haha, ya, 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 Si mimi peke yangu, watu watu. Hmm. Watu watu napata shida mami. Ha. Asa tukikani hivi hivi, ukikani hivi hivi. Hai! Hii mchezo gani? <laughs> Hii mchezo gani? Hai! Eh? Ukwa kama natulia, lakini kazi yako ni hii. Kazi yako ni hii. Mazingira pa kikijengo kutakuwa na benefit mingi sana. Kwanza kabisa italeta ajira kwa vijana wetu, wakina mama wetu kwa sababu watakuwa wanaweza kupata sehemu za kufanyia biashara. Changamoto ambazo zilizoko hapa kwa sahizi ni park, iko park mzuri sana, mandari mazuri sana lakini hakuna kitu chochote kinachoendelea na kiasi cha kwamba sisi kuweza kushikana na kuwa tutakanganga kwamba hii sehemu isiweze kuenda. Kwamba tukuje tutengenezewe hii park, iwe park mzuri kabisa ambayo itakuwa watu wanaweza kuja mpaka kutoka nchi za nje miji ya nje wanakuja hapa wanakuja kuangalia mandhari ya kilifi kwa namna gani na ufuo wa kilifi kwa namna gani hiyo ndio ilikuwa ni maono yetu ambao tulikuwa tunatarajia kwamba siku moja itakuja kuwa na ile ikuwe namna hiyo na paki kama hii ikikuja itengenezwe iwe ni paki ya kweli ingekuwa paka wale wajukuu wetu kulingana na sisi asili zetu za shughuli za kibaharia za kibaharini one of the key uh, items in sustainability of the public space is actually ensuring that there's job creation in the public space one of the key, an example that came out during the block by block workshop is having vending stalls that they can use and they can uh, use that same amount the same funding to uh, manage the space. Um, so we've seen this process as a way of also ensuring uh, the sustainability of the public space. <laughs>